Good morning. This is Kasturi Day. I am going to discuss on allergy according to ICC syllabus class seven. The concept of allergy. We we'll first discuss the concept of allergy. Originally, this was introduced. This concept was introduced in 1906 by a Viennese pediatrician, known as known. His name was Clemens von Pirket. He this concept was introduced after he noticed that some of his patients were hypersensitive to normally harmless substances uh, the substances which are harmless to some person they can cause hypersensitiveness in some of his patients and after that he introduced this concept of allergy these harmless substances may be dust pollen or some food in this uh, allergy is a greek word it means other work okay all forms of hypersensitivity were classified as allergies they all were thought to be caused by an improper activation of the immune system these allergies are due to uh, they are thought that they are, they may be caused due to some improper activation of the immune system they are also known as allergic diseases allergies are also known as allergic diseases they are caused by the hypersensitivity of the immune system as i told you earlier to something in the environment that usually causes no adverse effects to most people for example allergies for example are hay fever dermatitis asthma food allergies etc substances that cause allergies are aller called allergens examples of certain allergens are dust spores pollen insect sting certain types of clothes food etc now symptoms which appear uh, in the allergies are they are due to the part of the immune system affected or binding an allergen to the basophil what is a basophil it's a type of white blood cell and after combining with this they, when the allergens combine with this basophil they form they release an inflammatory chemical that is known as histamine which causes this allergic reactions and symptoms symptoms are generally like uh, inflammation skin rash cons and constriction of the bron bronchioles as we find it in asthma now some of the allergic diseases are like allergic rhinitis it's also known as running nose it affects about 20% of the people and uh, food allergies uh, cause above 6% of the people allergic dermatitis also affect above 20% of the people and asthma depending on the country they are about 1 to 18% of the people the rate of many allergic diseases appear to be increasing with the increasing number of fast foods fabrics pollutants in the environment etc that is uh, generally we have changed our lifestyle and for this reasons we use uh, num different types of fast foods we take different types of fast foods different type of fabrics are we use as clothes then environment in the environment number of pollutants are there different types of pollutants are there and those are causing more allergic diseases nowadays now some common allergens and their allergic react response some common allergens like the strong sunlight they is cause uh, this sun strong sunlight causes itchy red ash on the skin especially on the neck hands arms and the lower legs in severe cases small blisters and itchy red bumps occur on the exposed skin now the pollen grains which are released from the grass weeds and flowers they cause sneezing body ache headache conjunctivitis it's uh, it's a disease of the eye where there is water and swelling and watery eyes swelling is there and itchy itchiness is there then running nose nasal congestion coughing sore throat asthma wheezing sometimes itchy wells now uh, a common allergen is dust 
This cause asthma, wheezing, skin rash, sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, then runny nose and nasal congestion. Now, animal fur also is an allergen. For example, dander, saliva of the animal, then urine of the dog or dust or other allergen carried by the dog fur. There's these causes rashes on the skin, sneezing, congestion, wheezing, vomiting from coughing. The insect bites. The insect bites causes the stings which are from the wasps and bees and mosquito bites. They produce some allergic response like hives, wheezing and even severe allergy. The perfume is an, also an allergen which causes wheezing. Blisters on the skin, itchy eyes, runny nose and headaches. Sometimes cosmetics also cause uh, allergic reactions which are not, uh, some people are not suitable to a particular type of cosmetics. Like skin irritation that cause dermatitis, swelling over the skin, redness and conjunctivitis. Milk also acts as allergen in some cases. Like skin rash, it produces vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, stomach pain, flatulence, nasal congestion, dermatitis, and even blisters. Egg also uh, causes some allergic response, uh, especially the albumin. It causes vomiting, skin swelling or rash, wheezing or difficulty in breathing, running nose and sneezing. Now tetracycline. It causes fever with flu-like symptoms, body chills, dizziness, headache, blurred vision, blisters on the skin or skin peeling. Now, penicillin, it's a medicine. It also causes some allergic reactions like diarrhea, skin rash and nausea. Local anesthetics also causes some allergic response like skin rash, wheezing and flushing. How does these allergens enter into the body? This is the entry roots of the allergens. They enter through the nose, through the mouth, and through the skin. First, we come to uh, first we come to the nose through which the allergens enter. They enter in the form of pollen grains, dust, animal hair, or certain chemicals. They cause coughing, sneezing, runny nose, itching, and watery eyes. When they enter through the mouth, they enter in the form of cow milk, soya products, eggs, wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, selfish and some medicines. They cause vomiting, hives, stomach upset, eczema, asthma-like symptoms like bronchiospasms, anaphylaxis, it's a severe type of allergic symptoms, uh, red rash on the skin and itching. Now through the skin, when it enters through the skin, they enter through latex in the form of, uh, through the latex, certain types of cloths or insect bites. They cause hives, red rashes, eczema, itching. Now there are mainly two types of allergies, seasonal allergy and perennial allergy. Seasonal allergy occurs during a particular type of the time of the year particular season. That's why they are called seasonal allergy. Perennial allergy, they're not linked with into any particular season. They can occur any time of the year, at any time of the year. Like insect bites, food allergy, dust allergy and drug allergy are all perennial allergies. Okay. Now, how can we Prevent and take care of the allergies. No, oh, sorry. Before that, we come to some common allergic reactions like hay fever. Some common allergic reactions of the hay fever, these are caused by the pollen, particularly some uh, common with flowers when they are open. The nasal cavity lining becomes sensitive. These are the response of the allergic response of the hay fever. The nasal cavity lining becomes sensitive and inflamed, produces a large amount of mucus. Affected person suffers from running nose and sneezing. The eyes become itchy and sore and weepy. Now, in case of asthma, the muscles in the walls of the bronchioles contract, 
and the tubes get narrower which causes difficulty in breathing and the person starts wheezing. Then attacks are generally brought by the pollen, dust or some food. Some, sometimes it also occurs due to nervousness and worry. They are treated with drugs like uh, bronchial muscles, they, the drugs which uh, are used for this asthma, they relax the bronchial muscles, the tubes, uh, they widen the tubes and so that the air can easily enter into the lungs and we can breathe in and out more easily by the, through the lungs. Okay, now hives, they are caused by medicines or food. The uh, symptoms are swollen, pale red bumps or patches on the skin. Now, anaphylaxis is an extremely severe allergic reaction. It causes decreased in, decrease in blood pressure and shortness of breath. Now, dust allergy. It causes difficulty in breathing. Then the symptoms generally are wheezing, coughing and shortness of breath, sneezing, running nose and nasal conjunction. These are dust allergies caused by, as, as the name uh, tells us, that it's caused by dust, mite or cockroach excreta or hairs of animals. Now the number six is eczema or dermatitis. It's a type of skin infection. Now it causes itching of the skin, redness, it's caused by hy the hypersensitivity to certain soap, cosmetic, cheap dyes, clothes or washing powder. Causes stress, causes, it, it can be caused by stress or also by any food. Now insect bite allergy. This is caused by the sting of the insect. It, the, there is a pain in the area of the skin, sting, there is redness or rashes and uh, there is swelling beyond the area of the sting, there is itching, this, this is caused by certain chemical or the insect venom which is in, injected in the blood, in our blood when they bite or sting. Now how do that allergic reaction occur? When a person who is allergic to the particular allergen comes in contact with it, it enters the body, causes special cells in the body tissues to make a chemical known as antibody. When an allergen comes in contact with the antibodies, it produces a chemical which is known as histamine which causes the allergic reaction like skin swelling, inflammation. There are certain drugs uh, which are used to so, uh, to submerge this allergic reactions, these are known as antihistamine drugs, which can prevent these allergic reactions. Okay, now this is the end of the, the today's video. I'll come with the continue with this chapter allergy in my next video. Uh, I uh, it's uh, the remaining part is the diagnosis of the allergy and the uh, prevention and cure part. Okay, uh, so please subscribe so that you, you can get the notification of my next video and if you have any doubts, please let me know, comment it and uh, please do press the like button. Okay, and if you like the video, okay, thank you.